This is Brian Putt. Something we all have to do from time to time is to forecast some numbers going forward. So I'd like to suggest one option is being exponential smoothing and generating a confidence band around that forecast. The simple equation for exponential smoothing is to take the forecast in time period t is equal to a smoothing constant times the actual in the period before plus 1 minus the smoothing constant times the forecast of the prior period. So let's flip over to a model, Excel model, and let's look at what can happen. Here's an Excel model that's using exponential smoothing. We've defined the smoothing constant as 0.5. And then to get the uncertainty band around the forecast, we're using the mean errors and the standard deviation of the errors from historical data. So in this particular model, we have actuals for, let's assume, for periods uh, first quarter 2017 through third quarter 2018. And we have those actuals here. And we have the forecast that was given, whatever method was being used by our, our people to uh, give us a forecast. We can then calculate the errors over here. And so then using those errors, we can calculate the average of those errors. And we can calculate the standard deviation of those errors. So now what are we going to do here? We're going to estimate the next quarter forecast by taking this actual of 45 times the smoothing constant plus the prior forecast times 1 minus the smoothing constant. And then we're going to add an error term. Now, it may seem strange to use the prior year forecast, but we have to remember that this forecast included this actual, and this one included this actual. So in fact, the forecast is a conglomerate of all the prior actuals. Now, to calculate the error, we've assumed a normal distribution with a mean of the Error, prior errors and the prior standard deviation of the errors. Now, as we move forward, we're going to calculate an updated errors, new average, and a new standard deviation, and use that in that period's forecast. When we do this, and here I've assumed that going forward, the actual is equal to the forecast. And we can see the confidence interval widening as we get further and further out. Now, as we fill in actual, let's say the actual wasn't actually, we forecasted 44.25, but in fact the actual was 45. We can see how the graph up here has changed. We now have a new average forecast here in period 8 equal to 45.8. Here's that 45.8, which is the average of the 2018 fourth quarter. Remember, these being our deterministic, these are our different trials. With SIPMath, we can see those different trials. We can go over here to trial information. And we can see how the forecasts are changing over time. And it's this uncertainty in these numbers that is generating this P10 and the P90 confidence band. So once again, here I changed the actual to 45. Now let's assume that it was 47. 
and you can see the graph changed again. So it's automatically updating as you enter actuals into the forecast. Now something else you may want to consider is changing the smoothing constant. So I've put it here at 0.5. You could also look at something that was 1.0. What does that mean? That means I'm going to rely on the last estimate much more than the, the history. So I'm putting 1.0 and let's watch the um, confidence bands change. Or I could say I want to make it very slow. I want to rely more on the historical data and less on the last quarter. So I can put in a 0.2. And again, you can see a difference. So I hope this gives you some thoughts for forecasting your, your data. Thank you for watching.